Ah, ain't this some beautiful Jolly Wally Island in the middle of nowhere? One would even call it paradise. Now, we all know the not so quite glamorous failings of the Fire Festival in 2017. I'll just let you watch the Netflix documentary to understand its full context. Nevertheless, my mission is to recreate the Fire Festival in City Skylands, for the ultimate festival island based in the Caribbean. So let's skip to the story. So, one day, multi-millionaire Martini had an innovative idea to create the Ultimate Festival on a private island in the Caribbean, featuring all of today's biggest stars like Steve and Joe. Okay, they don't totally look like stars, but anyway. Martini hired the best of the best in terms of city and festival planning. However, in doing so, he had to collaborate with Caribbean Island Authority, including heads Corey Leo and Jonathan Carr. Both of them, after negotiations, gave in and gave the heads up to Martini and told him that he must follow the recommendations and guidelines, such as keeping the island's integrity, not overly terraforming, limited amounts of tall buildings, having plenty of parks and reserves, and build a small town for locals and native landowners to live and ensure that they are employed through all festival events. So, welcome to Friar Island. Like what I did there? So, the plan is, for the first episode of Friar Island, we've got the airport on the right side of the map, we've got a train station, we're going to build a small dock and apartments, I don't want to spend too much time with this, and then we're going to build a nature reserve. Excited to get started guys, I hope you are too. We are going to build Friar Island for the fire festival that should have been. Let's start in the airport, ladies and gentlemen. So. Unfortunately, I will have to do a little bit of editing to this particular part of the map just to kind of fit the airport in. Now you could say, hey, I could, you know, put it towards maybe the center of the map, but I don't really kind of want to go that way because I kind of want to start off by building a bit of an airport and with all of our transport hubs kind of being kind of in that one type of area in the map. And then I kind of want a nice boulevard that kind of then goes in and then you kind of got your concert area, um, your town, a few reserves, resorts. And that's kind of how I kind of want to base it. I'm only kind of, I think I'm going to only need a fairly small type of runway because again, I don't really want to build the island too big. It's kind of like one time of year or maybe two. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. But you know, you're only having a few concerts per year and there's only a small amount of residents. So kind of just needed enough services to kind of keep the town going and that's kind of what the council and everyone kind of wants so we're kind of going to build the airport there again nothing too flash and I will say this again that there is a lot of in my type of editing I always make um adjustments last minute and I kind of often want to change things so quite often if you see me working something then going back to something and then kind of making changes that's just what I like to do. I have a bad habit of doing that. But again, I'm kind of going to make it a little bit rough in kind of today's episodes and then kind of in future episodes, I can kind of like build upon it as, um, you know, we kind of, I kind of have a few more ideas from the map. But again, yeah, we're just going to keep it nice and simple. I think I'm going to do maybe two large airplane airport areas as well as about two medium and then maybe one small. Again, maybe it might expand as depending on kind of how much traffic and demand that we get. But yeah, we'll definitely go and um, we'll go and make adjustments kind of as we go. make sure there is a bit of a runway escape just want to make sure that it's kind of kept at the right distance it's kind of fairly flat because if it's too close together the plans will basically the wings of the plane will go and hit each other and we definitely do not want that to happen don't we Now I do, I am the type of person who likes to put a couple props in my airports but unfortunately for this one I don't think I'm going to have really much space in this airport unless I kind of have a future expansion. So I think I'm just going to keep it basic and just have just a couple little planes on the side and maybe in the future 
if we do need cargo because again we might need a cargo airport in the future depending on you know for kind of for big concerts and stuff having to fly them in from other countries and stuff it's going to be a big you know big operation not something but maybe not 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 be able to get everything via ship that easily so yeah unfortunately like i could go and put a shed there but it's going to kind of interfere a little bit too much and i've kind of already interfered heaps and expanded the land out and i kind of want to keep as much as the nature is as possible see so, like maybe that <laughs> i don't know about that I think I'll probably, I might get rid of it. Because yeah, it's kind of, it just doesn't seem quite right into the landscape. And yeah, again in the future, you know, I might put some proper piers and stuff along that area, but just for now, I'm just gonna keep it nice and basic. Now I'm gonna start on my basic boulevard. As you can see, I'm kind of like placing these kind of roads down with trees on the side and I don't really like that grass patch that kind of comes with this particular lut and stuff that I'm currently using so I think I might go and change that one and I think I'm going to do maybe three lanes I think two lanes might be a bit small but if you have like you know heaps of traffic at once coming from either the ferry or the airport as much as we don't want people using cars and stuff it could become very busy in these roads at times so I think, you know, I think if I just play with three lanes, I think we should be pretty safe with that one. No, just, um, I already just put some, a couple little piers and stuff down just to, um, get a basic idea of where I should put the roads and stuff. It's kind of annoying, can't really change the roads for these assets, which is a bit of a bummer, but that's okay. And I'm just going to use the roundabout tool as well. I'm going to use that and I'm going to create a few roundabouts because I don't necessarily want really complex traffic lights. And, you know, again, it's not going to be crazy, crazy busy and I don't want to modernize it too ridiculously. I mean, I'm not saying that um, roundabouts are old fashioned or modern or whatever, but for this case, I think it might work if I kind of do some nice little roundabouts and again when I kind of um, get to decorating and stuff I can do some really nice stuff with the roundabouts where it's putting a nice monument or something in the middle or some nice trees and landscape stuff maybe that's something I'm going to put in the future so yeah I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple for now and I'll expand it in the future So usually when you kind of got the roundabout, yeah, when you use the roundabout mod, sometimes the distance in the space between the little mini roads is going to be really close and when you try to attach something to those it kind of messes up a little bit, but that's okay. I'm just going to make a small little road attaching to that. Now we're gonna go and plop down a train station. Again, this doesn't need to be big because it's only gonna be really servicing people from the airport and it's not gonna be that many people, so I don't know, I could be wrong. <laughs> but um, I just, gonna, I just need something small. Again, nothing too extravagant because by the time you put a big train station in, which is probably unnecessary, it's gonna take up a lot of island space, which is not what we want. We're going to also place one down towards the cargo hub close to the other one but again I kind of want to get passengers as much on public transport as possible just going to connect that up because yeah we want to have passengers going straight from the airport straight to the concert because that's why this island is here in the first place and we're going to add some extra parking in there as well. Um, and you know, 
know, maybe there might be a little bit too much car parking space, but I think it, you know, never hurts. Especially because, yeah, there will be a small resident population on the island. There's not going to be a ridiculous amount of residents because it is a tourist island, but there will be a few. So we're going to go and chuck another roundabout there and this one's going to go and connect the main road to the little harbour area. I think later on I'll probably also put like a little bit of a ferry as well in that little harbour as well and I'll do like a little ferry connection. Maybe there might be like some mini islands off to the side where people can go and explore. Maybe like a little resort or something. Again, I'm going to get this really, really simple and I'm just going to just basically make a basic structure of where some little park things, of where some little, um, you know, boat restaurants, some little ship hire areas, just where they're going to be. Yeah, and I will go and upgrade this later. I'm also going to put just a couple little resorts as well. Um, I found, I actually didn't realise, because I only recently actually got the resorts one, because I was like, ooh, because apparently you can make good money from, so I was like, okay, I'm going to give it a go, and yeah, I ended up just finding some of these ones, and I'm like, oh, perfect, especially on that beach, and I mean, the beach area is only kind of small in this map, and I think I'll, I'll use half of it as to fit in kind of the nature reserve, and then I'll use the other half as, you know, kind of the resorty space. I'm going to chuck a nice big resort there. I really like that one I've just put right in the middle of my little harbour, little um, ship hotel. Build some more parking just to kind of make it a little bit less boring. And again, I will definitely plan to go and update this in the future just to pretty it up. And again, like it's kind of hard to really know what you want to put there because like if you put, you could put some shops in there, but it's like, it's a little bit isolated. I'm not going to connect this little road straight to the mainland. It's kind of a little bit annoying, but I have to have the level of the landscape up a little bit for the boat hotel to work, but go do what you're going to do. I guess it always, you know, adds kind of a little bit of detail towards the map too. Now I will probably maybe put some like concrete and stuff in between the two roads, but for now I'm just going to, you know, put a couple bushes there and kind of maybe even just leave it as is and then I'll kind of go and upgrade that a little bit later. Maybe it might be like a little bit of a resort or hotel big building in the middle. Again, there might be a few kind of tallish buildings, but like it's not going to be like an overbearing amount. And I'm just also going to add like a little bit of a parks, just kind of add a little bit extra little detail, like that is a perfect little spot there. I'm definitely not an expert at making like ponds and lakes and stuff too, so if there's an asset there that I can use, I will certainly use it. And I'm just trying to experiment with little things that maybe I could just add just to add that little bit of extra detail. And I think that fits perfectly there because it's not kind of invading the beach too much. And it kind of fits into just a nice little park. It kind of suits the area too. I'm also going to build a bit of a, a walking area. Because I think it would be really cool to see citizens kind of walking along the, the es not, uh, Esplanade Boulevard type of thing. I'm definitely going to like try to add like, a couple of little features in the sand where it's like, you know, little sand pits and stuff like that too. I'm going to build kind of another little section of road, but it's kind of just going to go straight in the middle. I'm going to have a bit of spare land, which I'm kind of, I'm not sure what I'm going to put in there yet. Because I'm trying 
trying to debate like whether you know maybe the citizens and the residents should kind of be in their own particular little spot of the map and you know the residents and stuff will be kind of kept separately maybe I do that but again I'll kind of make it up as I go and I'm gonna put a train station just kind of in that little spot where I'm going to put the nature reserve and that's going to be a nice easy access to the beach and the nature reserve because again as I said earlier we do not want too many vehicles on the road I think yeah in the main kind of town city center I think I'm, I'm debating whether to kind of maybe put some trams or monorail in and this is just going to help you know easy access And again, yeah, I don't really like using tunnels and stuff either, so wherever I can just, you know, kind of sink the landscape down a little bit and have the train, you know, going underneath a little maybe basic bridges and stuff like that. I don't want big bridges, just basic little bridges. That's going to work perfectly for me. I also don't really want to put too many roads as well, kind of in between the... Um, Esplanade Boulevard type of road because otherwise it's just going to cause a bit of traffic mayhem So I'm just going to build just yeah, a very basic little bridge just to go on top of the tracks So then people can have easy access to the nature reserve without having to get on public transport Just trying to get in your level And yeah, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna put the main gate just on the other side there. I'm also also put a little bit of parking as well. Nice and simple. Just gonna get them in lined up. Beautiful. Alright, I'm just gonna go and chuck my main gate right there. And I'm just gonna build just kind of just a couple paths, I'm not gonna put too many paths in. So kind of really just want to keep it as much natural as I can. I just put a little bit of a nature reserve fence on the outside. A bit more parking just because I can. And I'm going to put another little side entrance on there as well just so then people, you know, who perhaps want to maybe you know a bit closer access to it or you know coming from the ship or something like that they can easily access it and I'm just gonna put heaps of decorations in so I'm gonna put you know a little few little tent areas a few little camps I've got to put a dunny in there as well a few fire pits as well and they also got these nice little lookout towers. It's definitely some really nice little um, props and stuff you can play around with with this particular DLC. I'm not a huge fan of how the um, the road between because I'm I'm using the one from like your uh, amusement park type of paths and they don't really link up well with the ones from the nature reserve I'm not gonna lie always reminds me of when I was a kid I used to go and um because I live in Australia I used to always go bush camping and we always used to have little um tents set up and little um like a little community and stuff, especially also in school camps too when we used to do camping and stuff, that was always fun and exciting. 
gonna put like a bit of a museum type of area there. Keep putting a few little props down as we go. Some binoculars too. I should really try to put them in like a couple little restaurants or something, but I don't know if that's really possible. There we go. And I kind of want to keep that beach as natural as possible. Because like well, that little beach area is kind of like they kind of got this beach area in the map, but then on the other side, it's here. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of just a little bit of a cliff face. And I'm just gonna lay out the border there. And uh, yeah, again, that other side of the beach, I'm planning to kind of put a few more resorts and stuff in there. And then a bit more after, I'm planning to kind of base the, a bit of my map, but also on a bit of like Uluru and kind of have like heaps of stuff kind of in the middle, like in a, another amusement park, maybe like, you know, a zoo or something right in the middle, just would be just, you know, to add a little bit of interest. Debating maybe amusement park, but again, I'm not hundred percent sure because there's not a whole lot of space on the island as there is, but we'll see how we go. Just gonna put a few little tents and stuff in there too. That looks really nice actually, it's coming along really nice. I will d d definitely go and um, change the existing forestry that's there. Make it a little bit more beachy, add a few more palm trees in. Go a few California type of themed palms. There we go, and that looks a whole lot better. There we go, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Stick around for episode two. Remember to like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys in future videos as we continue to build the fire festival that should have happened but didn't.